Hi again, everybody. It's your old pal, the history nerd. I am back in the man cave. And in this video, we are going to unbox and review the Stetson Seneca cowboy hat that a very nice delivery driver who had a pretty good jump shot delivered to my home. So let's get our collective thumbs out of our butts and get busier than a one-armed paper hanger with jock itch. So, um, as I open this box that Stetson sent to my home, let me digress for a minute and say, I very much enjoy reading all of the comments that all of you leave on all of my videos. Even the mean comments are usually pretty funny. So I appreciate the interaction. I try to reply to as many of them as possible. I've noticed that an inordinate amount of the messages ask me about the various objects in the display cases behind me. Apparently a lot of y'all are intrigued by what's behind me. And the question that I'm asked pretty much most of all is, who is the masked guy in the robe over your right shoulder and why is he there? So let me answer that question for those of you who are curious. That gentleman over there is Mr. Wrestling number two, one of my favorite wrestlers as a boy. And he's there because during my childhood, every Saturday evening, you would find me in front of my parents' television at 5.05 p.m. as I watched Georgia Championship Wrestling come on the air. I, I would sit there enthralled as Gordon Soley talked about Tom, Tommy Wildfire Rich giving chops to the solar plexus of Ivan Koloff, and they are great childhood memories. I mean, I think of Tommy Rich, Wahoo McDaniel, Mr. Wrestling Number Two, Bullet Bob Armstrong, Abdullah the Butcher, the fabulous Freebirds, uh, 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 Ole and Gene Anderson, Ric Flair and the Four Horsemen. These were great memories of my youth. Uh, and so I put Mr. Wrestling's picture in my man cave because those memories mean something to me. As a matter of fact, I've reached the age where childhood memories really are precious. So for that reason, not only is Mr. Wrestling 2 over there, but in the glass display case next to him, I bought some high dollar replicas of the NWA championship belts that were used on Georgia Championship Wrestling. I've got the NWA world title known as the Domed Globe that was worn by Harley Race and Dusty Rhodes and Tommy Rich. And I've got a, uh, a, an, an, an NWA big gold belt that's most identified with nature boy Ric Flair. Now you are probably thinking, just as my wife does, you're a 55 year old grown professional man. Why would you waste your dough on replica belts from a wrestling show that aired in the early 80s? Well, I will give you the same eight word answer that I give Mrs. Nerd, which is I've got the money and I wanted them. Um, furthermore, you can't really see it, but hanging on the wall adjacent to where those belts are, I have a framed pair of monogrammed wrestling trunks signed by Ric Flair himself. Now, when those arrived in the mail and I opened them, they were not yet framed. And so I opened this package in the kitchen of our home. Mrs. Nerd looks at me, pull the trunks out, and she says, why did you buy a pair of big blue panties and how much did you pay for them? To which I replied, au contraire, mon ami, these are not big blue panties. These are monogrammed wrestling trunks 
from the Nature Boy Ric Flair that the 16-time champion signed himself, to which Mrs. Nerd replied, okay, fine, why did you buy Ric Flair's big blue panties and how much did you pay for them? So there are some issues that I don't think Mrs. Nerd and I will ever agree on, and my wrestling belt and Ric Flair trunks are one of them. So here is the Stetson Seneca hat that uh, I bought from Stetson. As I said in an early video, an earlier video, a friend of mine gave me a $500 Stetson gift certificate for Christmas with a note that says, this ought to keep the videos coming for a while. And so I bought this Seneca hat with, uh, with that gift certificate. Um, as I take it out of the plastic here, let me say, I'm afraid I'm gonna have a bit of buyer's remorse. Kinda like when I bought that Boss of the Plains hat. If you've not seen that video, go watch it, cause it's a good one, I think, one of my better videos. When I bought the Boss of the Plains hat and they sent me a blue ass cowboy hat. I had buyer's remorse after that. I'm afraid I'm gonna have buyer's remorse for this one too. And let me begin telling you why by uh, reading you the description of the Stetson Seneca hat that's on the Stetson website. It says, durable and water repellent for long days on the range, the Seneca 4X cowboy hat is constructed of 4X quality buffalo fur felt and features a pinch front crown, interior leather sweatband, and a tooled leather hat band accented with a silver buckle set. A member of Stetson's Buffalo Collection, Western hats handmade with the finest all natural buffalo fibers. So you think, hey, that sounds like a pretty good hat. Um, uh, what's your issue with it? Well, look, I jumped on this hat because as I've said in lots of videos, I have a giant head. I wear a seven and three quarter size hat and it's hard to find hats in my size. Each day I scroll through the Stetson website looking for hats in my size. And when one pops up that looks good, I jump on it. So this hat popped up. They said, hey, we've got a seven and three quarters in stock. I said, by God, send it to my home, and I bought it. And then I went and looked at the photos. This is the first hat I've ever bought where, yes, they had a man modeling it, but they also had a woman modeling it. And uh, I'm afraid that... Uh, with the woman wearing, with the model who wore that hat, wore this hat, if it fits her and it's in good proportion for her, I'm gonna look like baby Huey wearing a baby bonnet when I put this hat on. Um, uh, let me also say that the female model on the Stetson website who is wearing the Stetson Seneca she does not look like um, uh, she does not look like she has been riding for long days on the range wearing the Stetson Seneca hat. No, she looks like she's been riding on a Peloton bicycle wearing yoga pants. So uh, I'm very worried that a hat that looks good on scrawny ass model chick is not gonna look good on big old boy history nerd, but we shall see. Now, before I kick the tires like I always do on the hat, let me answer the burning question that's out there. History nerd, what in the blue hell is a Seneca? I didn't know what a Seneca was either. So I went and looked it up for you because if I am a master of anything, I am a master of Wikipedia. And a Seneca, the Seneca is a tribe of Iroquois Indians from upstate New York, up by Canada. I don't know about you, but when I think cowboy hat, I don't think upstate New York. 
Uh, if I were naming a cowboy hat after an Indian tribe and I wanted to evoke images of a cowboy hat, I would name it the Stetson Choctaw, the Stetson Chickasaw, the Stetson Cherokee, not the freaking Stetson Seneca from upstate New York Iroquois Indians. I think Indian casinos when I think upstate New York. I don't think cowboy hats, but that's what Stetson did. Makes me wonder if they've just got a group of guys who sit around after work, each of them got a half warm beer in their hand. They look, hey, we got this new hat. What do you think we ought to call it? I don't know, what do you think about the Stetson Seneca? Uh, hell, you got anything better, Bob? No, you got anything better, Jeff? Uh, all right, hell, we'll just call it the Stetson Seneca. I mean, they are literally pulling these names out of their butts, if you ask me, but in any case, this is the Stetson Seneca. As the description said, it is a 4X buffalo wool hat. It's from their buffalo collection. Really, it's bison wool, because here in the United States, as I've said before, we have bison, not buffalo, but this is a uh, buffalo wool hat. And it actually, the finish on this hat feels really good. And from where I'm sitting, it looks really good. Uh, I have no quibbles with the aesthetic uh, value of this hat. It is a good looking hat. Um, this hat cost $170 if you buy it on the Stetson website. Uh, so you're probably thinking, well, history nerd, what are your concerns about the hat if you like the way it looks? Yeah, it's a good looking hat. Uh, I like the pinch front crease on it. Uh, most of my hats are cattleman crease, so I like to switch it up every once in a while with a pinch front crease, good looking hat. The, uh, the crown on this hat is four and a quarter inches tall. I don't really have a problem with that. I like them a little taller, but I can live with four and a quarter. Here's where we run into some trouble. The brim on this hat, and remember, I didn't look all this up until after I had already bought it and put in my numbers and they said it's on the way. The brim on this hat is three and a half inches. Look at me, guys. I am a large man. I am a girthy man. I am not a small man. Look at these fat cheeks, okay? I have a wide face. My fear is that when I wear a hat with a three and a half inch brim on this big wide fat face, A, when it rains, my cheeks are gonna get soaked because they're gonna hang out the sides of the hat, but B, it's not gonna look in proportion to me, um, but we will see that in a minute. So let me say it's got the four, uh, four and a quarter inch crown, the three and a half inch brim. Uh, it's got a leather uh, hat band that they call chocolate. You know, Stetson can't say it's got a brown leather hat band. They have to say it's chocolate. What color do you think this hat is? What color does it look like to you? Tan? Looks tan, khaki maybe. No, according to Stetson, the color of this hat is silver sand. So it's got a silver sand color. It's got a chocolate leather uh, hat band, which I think is a pretty good looking hat band. Uh, as the description said, it has a silver buckle set. But this is where it starts bothering me. Maybe it's because of the scrawny ass chick model they had on the website, but this is a very dainty kind of female looking buckle set on this hat. I mean, it's got like frilly flowers. It evokes images of Holly Hobby kind of hat band. So um, uh, that's got my dander up just a bit. Again, all of this is my fault. So because I, I, I didn't look at the description. I didn't kick the tires before I bought the car. I just jumped on it because I said, hey, it's a good looking thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy it. And I went back and screwed myself. Um, so it's got the, uh, let me take off the little label here that says Buffalo Collection. Um, uh, if we flip it over, um, the interior of the hat is good looking. It does have a leather hat band sweatband 
which feels nice. Um, the front of the sweatband says Stetson 4X on it. The side of the sweatband says Stetson American Buffalo Collection made in the USA. The interior of the hat has the satin lining that says Stetson American Buffalo Collection with the Stetson brand looking logo on it like they stuck a hot poker in a bull's ass. Um, and then over here, of course, is the little, uh, the little size sticker that I always make fun of that the state of California makes them put on their hats. All hats have to say this because California demands it. It says wearing this hat will cause cancer and reproductive harm. So remember, if you wear Stetson hats, according to the state of California, you will get cancer and your wiener won't work and you can't have kids. So just keep that in mind when you're shopping for cowboy hats. Your wiener's going to shrivel up and quit working, according to the state of California. Um, so uh, look, this is not a super long video, folks, because it's not a super big hat. Like I said, um, uh, after I bought it, I went and looked at the size on it, and I am a little nervous about putting this hat on, but I am going to try it on like I do all of the hats. And as I've said, Many, many times in all the videos, with my setup here, I can't see what I look like. So you will see what I look like before I see what I look like. Um, so if I look stupid, if I look like a pluperfect idiot, um, if I look like baby Huey wearing a baby bonnet, you will know it well before I do. So with that, let me put on this scrawny ass female model's cowboy hat. Of course, I'm sure she doesn't wear a size seven and three quarters like I do. So there you go, folks. That is the Stetson Seneca. Um, I am really concerned that the brim uh, is too narrow for my fat face. I needed about an inch more on the brim. Sticking out the side, look, I hope I look like, to go back to references of wrestling, I hope that I look like the American Dream Dusty Rhodes wearing this cowboy hat, but I have a sneaking suspicion that I look more like Kurt Angle wearing the tiny ass cowboy hat that Stone Cold Steve Austin once gave him. So that's it folks, that's our video. Not quite as long as the others. There's not a lot of history to share about this hat, but now you know that the Senecas are a band of Iroquois Indians from upstate New York. So if you ever play Trigger Pursuit and that's one of the answers you have to give, you can thank the history nerd. So I guess I'm going to wrap up this video like I wrap up all of my videos. I'm going to ask you to uh, be good, uh, be well, uh, be happy, and uh, thank you for watching, friends. I hope all of you uh, have a great day, have a great life. I hope that God shines down upon you and showers you with his blessings. Um, oh wait, I forgot the most important part. I need you to do three things for me. I'm thinking about you. I need to think about me. I need you to do three things for me. Give me the Fonzie thumbs up, hey. Hit subscribe and then ring that bell so the next time I fire up the old YouTube gizmo, you will be among the first to know. Folks, keep watching, because as long as you keep watching, I'll keep pumping out these videos. Goodbye and God bless each and every one of you.